All right. How about that snipe? How about that, right? To start your season off with two shorties, that's a pretty good start. Good little Jets here. Snipe. Yeah, we want to welcome in Logan O'Connor. Congrats on uh, your hot start so far with the team and yourself. Couple shorties uh, the last couple days, and um, life is good, right? Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, definitely helps that the team's got off to a good start here. Yeah, what uh, can you take us through? Um, you know, I've heard kind of talking to people that uh, you know penalty killing is, is what you're good at, and you're getting some offense out of it too. And has that always been something, or is it, you know, I, I'm always curious when you're talking to players, just trying to find, all right, well, you know, I'm going to evolve as a player, and, and I'm going to try to be better at this and and make that my niche. And and is that something that just always came natural, or or um, you know, is this something new where you're you're starting to kill penalties more and more? I think my speed's always uh, been one of my biggest attributes as a player. Um, so just trying to use that to my advantage when I'm out there against opposing teams power plays. I think uh, our system does a great job with helping guys, uh, you know, time it if, if you see the chance to sort of go for it. And especially early in the year, power plays are fresh, um, maybe not gelling as much as normal. So you can maybe take advantage of them a little bit. So when you're going 1v1 versus the goalie, do you have a patented move or are you thinking shot first uh, right away? Last year, I wasn't too successful in my breakaways. So this year, I'm sort of trying not to think about it too much and just see what the goalie gives me and go from there. Use my shot a little more this year, I think, hopefully. Yeah, hey, when, you, when you go bar down like that, I'd yeah. keep shooting too if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, uh, can you take us through the other night? It was something um, I kind of want to hear it on both sides because I, I got nothing but respect for guys who stick up for their teammates. And we know about you, your, your fight the other night with Jordan Eberle and that kind of, you know, stemming back to, I would assume, what, what happened in the playoffs last year. Uh, with Cogliano and him. Uh, so can you kind of take us through this? Because I give a ton of credit for you. Well, I also do for Ebbs. You know, it's it's something, uh, maybe it's old school. Maybe I'm a dinosaur in this, in this fact. Uh, but I, I like when guys stand up for maybe something that's happened or something they've done, even if it wasn't intentional. For sure, I couldn't agree more. I think, uh, you know, Ebbs has been around the league for a long time, and he definitely didn't have to fight there. But he, he knew what he did in the previous playoff series. Um, you know, he knew it was probably a cheap shot. Cogs missed the rest of that series. Obviously fractured his neck in two places. He's been a huge uh, key for us as, as a teammate. Um, so, you know, just doing that for him, I think anyone on our team would have done the same. And, and like you said, good for Ebbs to step up there and sort of answer the bell too. So what was it, you know, I mean, you don't have to, you know, let us in on every word that was said, but it was it kind of like he, he knew probably something was coming and it was just real quick. He's just like, yep, you know, and, and kind of get it done with and, and you can kind of move on. It worked out good. Yeah, we were both skating up the ice um, sort of the same time the puck was going through the zone. And I think he knew something was probably coming, um, sort of just grabbed him and said, Abs, you know, we got to go here. And he's like, we're going and. Next thing you know, that was that. And, you know, it's out of the way now. I think that's the biggest thing we can sort of focus on is playing hockey. We got it out of the way early in the game and can sort of just settle that score on our own and then go from there. I've been there many times, too, where you've you've hit someone the year before. And and my, my quick story was uh, Yuri Fisher, Detroit Red, yeah. Red Wings, uh, big uh, big blue liner. Uh, he tore his ACL. He missed the, the rest of the year, and we're playing in Nashville. And he taps me first shift of the game, taps me in the leg. We're going. I'm like, no, no, not yet. And he's like, way bigger than me, way tougher than me. Uh, skate around the net. He just blindsides me. I'm going, I go down. I'm like, all right, it's on. Let's go. We get in there, get ready. Poop pops me right in the nose. I just oh, crumble, no. crumble right down, down to the ground. But it's, uh, it's, not a good feeling. No, it's bad too when like you know it's almost better to just go and get it done with. Yeah. Right. Like I never liked it where I feel like a lot of times and, and maybe that's not what the situation that you explained there, but um, a lot of times if I did something, I'm gonna go look for it with the somebody and just be like, all right, let's get it because I. I didn't want that cloud following yeah. me around because then you're playing, you're looking over your shoulder the whole time. So, anyways, props to both of you guys <laughs> sticking up for your teammate and Ebbs for, for answering the bell there, too. Um, your guys' season, it's been an awesome start so far. Uh, just, uh, you know, been, uh, been, been racking up wins. And, uh, you know, how, how special is it to kind of have this team and, and the new guys coming in and contributing right, right away? For sure, it's been great. I think. Uh... With so many new players, it was huge to start on the road, honestly. Um, we had some fun with team dinners, going out a little more, spending more time with guys, less distractions, and you're seeing the chemistry build because of that road trip with them. Um, they've all fit in great. 
They're asking lots of questions, new systems, playing with new guys, but they've all done a great job so far, and I think they're all going to have great years for us. So the Connor Bedard show, he had a five-game road trip. But was there anything said with you guys there going into that game yesterday, kind of what, what to take away? We, uh, we all know that he can shoot the puck like a, like a fool, this guy. But was there anything you guys yeah. kind of keyed on uh, to him, coaches? What, what were they saying to you guys before the game? I think just for any of those high caliber players, it's just time and space. Um, I think Taves and McCarr did a great job in the D zone, closing quickly, because when he rolls up high with that shot of his, he can definitely be pretty lethal with it. And then on the power play, always being aware of where he is on the ice and when he's one of those players that he doesn't need much time and space to make plays and use that release of his. Yeah, I mean, he certainly has that that release, but you know, I was watching that game last night and. We were just talking about it a minute ago. It seemed uh, you guys seemed to be on point in that one, and maybe it's the end of the road trip for Chicago. <laughs> but it, was, it seemed like quite a big discrepancy as far as matchups go. Uh, I want to bring back one other physical thing with you because you had a fight with Ross Colton, who now you play with. Like, did that come up in yeah. conversation at all when you guys acquired him? Yeah, we actually had two fights against each other, <clears throat> um, so there was definitely a little animosity there on the ice but i think everyone can say you know once you uh become teammates you sort of put that out of the way look past it and, and now we're good friends and it's nice being on the same side of things um i actually really liked his game playing against him as much as i hated playing against him i respected his game and thought he was always a great player so it's awesome having him on our side of things now uh when, when you guys are traveling you just said you're on the road to start the season are, are you a card player are you a gamer what i kind of like to know uh, the life on the plane with you guys yeah, we, uh, I used to be a card player last year, and now guys have played this game called Super Talk. It's, uh, I think Never a lot of it. teams actually, I think a lot of teams are starting to play it. Um, it's like a combination of Sori and Crib, two on two. It's great for the oh. plane. It's like a lot of strategy. You got to dial in. So that's been our game of choice so far. Johansson brought over from Nashville, and I know a couple of buddies on other teams who have played that as well. I've taken a lot of money off Joey. You'll, you'll have to tell him that. Uh, when my, my, <laughs> yeah. I play with him in Columbus and Nashville, so <laughs> easy money. I, I might be up on him so far too. So oh, you know. look at you yes. too. Yes. That way. I, what was you said? It's like a blend. Of, you say cr like cribbage? Yeah, like cribbage and sorry a little bit. Two on two. Um, like so you're each playing with the cribbage. You're playing meaning. with the cribbage board, right? It, uh, it's a different board, but like you sort of have to peg in a way, I guess. Um, and it's all strategy. Like every card means something else, but it sets up another play. So it's just like constantly thinking. And it's a lot of fun. We we I, it's funny because whatever the game was, whether it's that or, or some I love of the card games. Yeah. Isn't it funny though, like how yeah. competitive guys are? Like I remember different teams I was on were given like we're given weekly rankings, <laughs> yeah, and guys yeah. would get like guys would get. The guys would get pissed, right? Like, they'd be like, oh, I'm not better than you. I'm like, oh, but their weekly rankings say otherwise, RT. You know, it's, guys would get mad, huh? I love it. I was the bookkeeper, so I had a little black book, and I had yeah. everyone's, you know, minus, plus, or whatever. And when I uh, gave pay slips to everyone, I put a pay, uh, pay stub in there. You owe this guy, you know, X amount of dollars, <laughs> this, that. And then we get on the plane. I got a brand-new, fresh uh, uh, page. I'm like, and in last place, uh, <laughs> Roman Yossi. <laughs> and just going right down the list to, to the number one player. But, man. Is it uh, brings up some good memories, the old card table? Oh, that's so good. Hey, yeah, it's uh, hard to beat. Yeah, Logan, uh, we got a segment here that we're gonna uh, just uh, we want to know what you're thinking. We're gonna show you some pictures if you uh, don't mind playing along here and let us know what was going through your mind. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Um, that was in Chicago, actually. Great group of guys that I'm still so close with to this day. Uh, we're fortunate enough to win that national championship there. And we had our fifth year reunion last summer in Vail, which, you know, was obviously a great time. Had 20 or so guys back. So that was a special moment in my career. Uh, but also, like, it's it's really unique that you you played you played in De at Denver. You, you won a, a championship. Uh, you, you played in the, the American League in Colorado, right, for the Eagles, uh, the farm club. Yep. And now you're like, now you're playing for the Avs. Yeah. Like that's pretty pretty cool that you're all in that same area. Yeah, I've been very fortunate. I mean, I've been here for nine years now, um, so it's sort of become home. Spend the summers here. And it's been awesome. I've been very fortunate with the setup I've got going on. All right, the next picture, we might need some help here. This one's self-explanatory, the other one. What, what's going okay. on here? That is from the movie Lords of Dogtown, that one. So I got the mullet going on the left there. Um, we had a college party, and that's how the boys dressed up. That's Trevor Moore in the middle on L.A., so that was our outfit. <laughs> 
That's good. Nice six pack on that him. That is. That is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, what else do we got here? Yeah. Th those those pictures. You know, obviously, still send some shivers for sure. Um, you know, everything about the journey and doing it with those guys and how close we were as a team and and just that moment you 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 know dream of it your whole life and then when it actually happens it just it's definitely surreal and you know a moment we'll all look back on and share great memories and you know we'll have that for the rest of our lives yeah but you're never gonna never gonna forget that and uh inside that room there it's a great pick uh this one we might need help explain this is a tweet Let's see abs for logan o'connor broke <laughs> his scoring drought got engaged and won a super bowl <laughs> betting squares all in one weekend <laughs> that's pretty good right explain that yeah and it was like a 40 game drought, so I needed that one. Um, yeah, that was uh, last January or maybe start of February, I believe. Um, we got the scoreless drought and got engaged the next day and then won the square, so that was definitely nice. And what, what about there? Is a great picture right there. What's the dog's name? The dog's name, her name is Billy. Uh, so uh, she's three years old, yellow lab. And uh, I was against getting a dog actually. And since we've had her, it's been uh, awesome. And now I don't think I'd ever be able to live without one. And what was the square? What was the square winning? Was that a quarter? Was that, is it a cash prize? Was it a TV? What was it? I won the quarter and half time. So I had a nice little haul there. Nice, the squares. good for you, man. That was a that was a great weekend. Great weekend right there. <laughs> All right, we got Stayed one off more. The ring a little bit. Right here, yeah, another, that looks is, like another uh, costumes. Classic Chewbacca and some stormtroopers. Um, I want to say that was freshman year orientation week where every day, you know, the boys dress up. That's my freshman class. Um, and you just, you know, go have fun on campus with all the new students. You got your Halloween uh, costume picked out yeah, for you guys the got a part. Yeah. You guys got a party going on? Yeah, we'll do something. Don't have a costume yet, so if you guys got suggestions, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think I was a last minute. I was a last minute guy to run it out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, awesome, dude. Well, we appreciate you hopping on. Great start this season so far. Keep scoring these shorties and uh, and doing your thing.